Hi everyone, warm welcome to all to my channel World of Zoology. We have already finished first seven points of the wonders of the animal world and now we will start with the next that is part 2 of the um, uh, adaptive features of the desert animals. We have already finished part 1 and in which we have considered the various adaptive features in detail but we will summarize the previous ones that is the adaptations which are shown by the animal under different headings such as morphological then physiological various uh, anatomical and behavioral adaptations various animal species have developed ingenious and diverse mechanism to acquire conserve recycle and actually manufacture water to different genera of the reptiles and mammals they have developed various variety of characters in their body under the condition of the lack of water they creates very problem for their survival in desert ecosystem and therefore desert organism animals and plants they show adaptation for their survival but animals have an additional problem they are more susceptible to extremes of the temperature than the plants animals receive heat by radiation from the sun indirectly by conduction from the substrate that is from the rock and soil and by convection from the air the biological processes of animal tissue can function only within a relatively narrow temperature range when this range is exceeded the animal may die for four or five months of the year the, the daily temperature in the desert may actually exceed this range of thermoneutrality combined with the scarcity of life sustaining water survival for desert animal can become extremely tenuous and therefore we can observe the various adaptive features in the animals such as avoiding heat which is one of the behavioral technique developed by the animal. Fortunately, most desert animals have evolved behavioral and physiological mechanisms at the same time so as to solve the heat and water problems. Among thousands of desert animal species, there are remarkable behavioral and structural adaptations developed for avoiding excess of heat. This excess of heat can be avoided by various mechanisms which are developed in the animal such as the many mammals which are mainly reptiles and mammals are crepuscular that is they can active remain active only during dusk and dawn period for this reason the animals may completely develop nocturnal behavior restricting all their activities to the cooler temperature of the night many snakes bats and most rodents are larger or the larger mammals like fox or the uh, they prefer the uh, sleeping in the cool den cave or the burrow during the daytime and they remain active during the night time the behavioral adaptations are also shown by the animal that is escaping from the heat and they may burrow in the uh, sand or the soil or den or the caves so as to escape from the temperature problems and therefore we can observe the mechanisms which are developed in various animals for the for escaping from the sun or so as to avoid the adverse uh, conditions such as a high temperature in the desert. First animal which shows adaptation to desert environment or the ecosystem is nothing but the phyrenosoma that belongs to the phylum, uh, phylum uh, chordata and class reptilia in which the particular 
horn lizard or the uh, which is known as Phyrenosoma cornatum which develops adaptation to desert environment and the animal remains um, restricted to the southern USA and Mexico. This animal can squid blood from its eye when under attack. This is achieved by the pair of muscles which restrict the blood flow from internal jugulars, causing an increase in the blood pressure and leakage from the ocular venous sinuses. The important phenomena which is a, a very interesting one shown by the animal when the animal is threatened, the lizard closes its eyes with uh, which becomes swollen and then shoots out a fine stream of blood from the margin of the eyelid. A horn toad which is known as Phyrenosoma is a typical desert animal. It has a broad flat spiny body. Spines help to prevent loss of water in the dry atmosphere. Body color which is generally pale and that color matches with the surrounding environment and thus exhibit camouflage so that animal cannot easily located by the predators. The large flat body surface of the horn toad also works well as the solar collecting panel. At cooler temperature, animal orients its body to maximize the amount of uh, solar radiation or uh, which are exposed to this. When it get too hot, it burrows into loose soil. The toad uses scales on the front edge of the lower jaw to cut into earth as it vibrates its head into the ground. Then it shakes its body into the soil entirely. The skin is also hygroscopic. That means it absorb moisture from the atmosphere. As far as the tongue is concerned, which is fleshy and non protrusible Eyelids are large and com that completely covers the eyes, thus preventing the sand from entering into the eyes. Nostrils are provided with walls which prevent the entry of sand from outside entering the inside. As far as the ear is concerned, ear aperture is absent in the Phyrenosoma. Most species of the North American Ignites genus Phyrenosoma consume mostly ant as their food material. Most, uh, mostly these animals share a bizarre phenotype distinct from the related inguinids and dorsoventrally compressed body, splay limbs, broad head, abbreviated snout, occipital spines, relatively slow movement, long activity period, variable body temperature and very large stomach relative to the body size. Thus the members of the genus Phyrenosoma which are seems to be characterized by a unique constellation of anatomical, behavioral, physiological as well as ecological adaptations that facilitate efficient exploitation of ant as the food source and set the horn lizard apart from the other species of the lizard. The next animal we'll have to consider is the camel which is included in your syllabus. The camel which um, shows various types of adaptation starting from the hump to the hooves. Their tough mouth can chew thorny desert plants and camels can grow more than seven feet tall and weight near about uh, 1500 to 600 pounds and such a huge animal that shows adaptation and um, camel shows special characteristics. Adaptations are nothing but the special characteristics that an organism is born with and which enable it to survive in its natural habitat or the ecosystem. There are two varieties of camels. 
the tropical variety is known as dromedary that is camellius dromedarius found in the tropical warm deserts of the world and it has one back hump remember that this variety dromedary is having one back hump whereas the another that is bactrians it has two uh, humps on the back region the domesticated bactrians camel that is camellius bactrianus and the wild bactrian variety that is camellius ferus have two hump region on the back region that is two humps which are developed on back portion and these animals are found in the temperate deserts the following adaptations show that camel is especially suited to live in the desert ecosystem which are the adaptations shown by the animal camel dromedary camel that is camellius dromedarius which shows various types of adaptation for the survival in the desert condition and first is the if the animal can last 3 months without water a special type of adaptation is which is developed in this animal this camel can store fat in the hump region and not the water the fat can be metabolized for the energy as you know that the fatty material store enormous amount of energy compared with the other food sources and which is also tasty and nutrient rich and therefore survival of the animal in absence of the food material which is carried out due to the hump and that hump region sh- shrinks if the food material uh, is scarce in the environment unlike other mammals a healthy camel's body temperature fluctuates throughout the day from 34 degree celsius to 41.7 degree celsius this allows the camel to conserve water not by sweating as a environmental temperature rises means even that at a high temperature the animal um, shows no sweating camels have nostrils that can open and close and therefore protecting the respiratory tract from blowing sand this one is the bactrian camel showing two humps on the back portion and here the comparison of the uh, arabian camel that is dromedary and bactrian camel which is shown in this slide the next one is the classification of the camel the kingdom animalia phylum chordata family camelidae and the species and genus camelus bacterinus bacterinus camels have two humps rather than a single hump of their arabian relatives the hump functions the same way storing fat which can be converted to energy that is which serves as the quick burst of energy in the emergency now we'll consider the adaptive features of the animals one by one with the help of this diagram as you see in here the two rows of eyelashes protect the animal from the sand and sun in addition to that there are three rows of uh, eyebrows in the camel that forms a barrier for the entry of the sand particles into the eyes nostrils can be closed to keep out sand then as far as the thigh region is considered which is elongated strong so as to bear the weight of the animal heavy weight of the animal and further it keep the body away from the sand surface then next one will be thick leathery patches on the knees to protect them uh, when the animal is resting on the hot sand then the next one will be broad flat leathery pads on the hooves to spread weight equally on the sand next one will be concentrated urine to retain as much as water as per which is possible and that is one of the physiological adaptation where henley's loop is more elongated compared with the human being but less as compared with the kangaroo rat and which is responsible for production of the more and more concentrated urine and therefore 
the water which is reabsorbed can be um, uh, conserved by the animal then the next point is the thick fur and under wool warmth at the night and insulation against the sun in the day that is the function of the thick fur then the last one but not the least and which is important because hum portion it doesn't contain water but instead of which it store fat in the humps so as to provide more and more energy during starvation or when scarcity of the food material is there in the desert ecosystem here also observe the uh, slit like nostrils in this slide which are able to open and close so as to prevent the entry of the sand then leathery mouth tough for chewing the thorny plants which are not used by the other animals then web twin toed feet to prevent it from sinking into the sand then leathery knee pads once again for kneeling strong sturdy thighs so as to bear the weight of the animal last one that is hill like hump which is used for storing fat and not for the water they are uh, they can go without eating for a longer time due to the stored fat material in the hump region now we'll consider the adaptive adaptive feature of the desert animal that is camel adaptation that is one two rows of long eyelashes to protect it from blowing sand and hot sun remember that in addition to two long eyelashes three eyebrows are there in case of the camel for protecting the eyes against the um, uh, blowing sand the second character is the adaptation for nostrils which can be closed it help to prevent the entry of the blowing sand the fat which is stored in the hump helps to survive the desert life of the long period without food and water that is under unfavorable circumstances the next fourth one that is the thick fur under wool that helps to sustain the life in the warm and insulation in the cold weather the next character that is fifth one is the thick leathery patches on the knees which helps to prevent from burns of the hot uh, hot sand when it kneels the sixth one is the broad flat leathery pads at the bottom of their hooves as their pads spreads out when stepping on the ground forming a snowshoe effect this helps the animal from sinking into the sand the seventh one is the long and strong legs that helps to elevate the body of the camel away from the substratum or the hot sand in this condition the animal can uh, remains at height the body of the animal can remains at the height and that protect the animal then modification of the kidney in the camel anatomical as well as physiological adaptations are there which are observed camel does the have a special kidney and a special gi that is gastrointestinal tract as camel's kidney can concentrate urine more saline than the sea water it can even afford to consume sea water that means reabsorption of the water due to um, uh, henley's loops length several fold can absorb water from the urine itself and produce the urine concentrate and that concentration is equal to the sea water therefore animal can also consume sea water for its survival a relative thickness of medulla is good measure of the length of the henley's loop which is instrumental in urine urine concentration the thickness reported in the camel was less in comparison to that of the kangaroo rat and much more than the human also what happens if a camel does not drink water for 5 days or all of a sudden it rehydrates it remains uh, the, that camel remains without water for 3 months also a uh, dehydrated camel can replace water within minutes of drinking and some of his um, uh, this water is quickly reabsorbed into the blood stream 
with water in the blood bloodstream anti diuretic hormone that is adh declines and the kidney returns to the normal renal function within 30 minutes of the water drinking not only does the camel adapt to scare water but the kidneys can also adapt to rapid dehydration and it does not lead to demyelination of the brain another interesting part of the camel physiology that is physiological modification is that they have three stomachs acting as a storage that is 1.5 gallons per stomach for the water as you know that the camels they are um, having rumen reticulum and the third stomach that is um, omasum is absent instead of which abomasum is there these animals are pseudo ruminant animals but the pouch like structure in the stomach they serve for the storage of the water an interesting physiological process is capacity of the camel to store water in its blood stream also it is capable of losing 40% of its body weight before becoming uh, becoming distressed and is able to survive for 5 to 7 days be, before having to drink when water is available a camel drinks about 21 gallons in 10 minutes or near about 30 gallons within 15 minutes when water um, becomes available to the animal the camel's mouth stomach and teeth are also well adapted they they have developed to allow to eat the plants that are not palatable to the other desert animal that is also one of the important adaptation of the camel the camels do not store water in their humps but that per hump region is full of fat for food storage and it contain not only fats but also the minerals and vitamins in it these are some of the desert animals showing adaptation um, observe the uh, height of the leg then also the various structures which are well developed in the animal in this diagram thank you for watching my second part of the adaptive features of the desert animal video and share this video for the benefit of the maximum students thank you once again